Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. And you read the title right, he mowed this lawn for $5. So this is Mr. Kevin Falcon. He runs a lawn care company in Oklahoma. And when I saw this video, found out how little he did it for, I needed to know more. So <laughs> he was very kind and offered to sit down with me and talk a little bit uh, about the reasoning behind this business decision. All right, Kevin, if you wouldn't mind, give us uh, whatever kind of background you'd like on you and your company. You can be as specific or as vague as you'd like. So I've been mowing uh, since high school. Uh, I always knew it was something I could come back to to generate some little extra cash. A few years now, I I've mowed just about maybe 15, 20 lawns, uh, nothing too big. And then last year, I don't know, just got a, a desire to, to push it further and see what I could do and see what I could generate. Thought of a no-brainer offer and went after it this season. The first mow is five dollars. First mow five dollars. Doesn't matter the size. Very nice. So what made you think of that? Well, I just wanted to think of something that's going to separate me uh, from the rest of the guys uh, here in Oklahoma. I mean, almost everyone mows. You throw a hat, you can hit ten people that mow. On our street alone, we have three or four different guys that that mow at a time. We'll have three or four different crews up our street. So you need something to to stand out, and the best way to stand out is to have a price that stands out. What percentage of your new customers uh, come from that? I didn't do the numbers on that one. So oh, I would okay. guess 80%, 90, 85% mm -hmm. are from, from just from that ad. So right there is one of the reasons why somebody would, would price a lawn low to get their foot in the door, especially local areas are going to dictate a lot. That's one thing that I see people do all the time is they interject their circumstances and their reasoning and why you're doing something wrong, or more specifically, why I'm doing something wrong, right? Well, yeah. you shouldn't have priced that lawn at $30 because here in Maryland, this is the way things work. Uh, but you can't really apply your local little bubble thinking to the entire world. So for Kevin, his marketing strategy, 80 to 90% of his new customers coming in from that, that's telling you something about the success. So what kind of percentage would you say uh, they're disasters and they are people that just, for lack of a better word, take advantage of you versus the ones that either give you more business or more money, that kind of thing? Uh, well, in the end, I think they're all taking advantage of you because pretty much every lawn I went to that was for $5 was extremely high. Right. About 26% of my $5 mows. Uh, were people that I never saw again. Probably at least half were upfront about it. Hey, I just want you to knock this down. And like I said, I said, okay, it's five bucks. And, you know, if they wanted to tip me more, that's fine. You know, whatever they did. Some of them were like, I'm not going to give you $5. I know, I know it's worth more. Hmm. And I mean, some of them gave me, you know, the full value. Uh, some of them just, you know, just gave me, you know, 20, whatever it was. But I mean, like I said, there were a few that was just like, here, here's five bucks. Thanks. And then does that mean the other three quarters you've done some other kind of work for? I've maintained the other 74%. Uh, That's awesome. So yeah, most of them were either weekly or bi-weekly. Yeah, the $5 thing has led to some duds, but I mean, it sounds like it's working out overall. If 75% if are returning customers, uh, and like you said, if it's an area where it's a little bit harder to get your foot in the door, so to speak, it sounds like it's working out. Well, if Kevin has any more overgrown lawn videos, I'm going to try and convince him to let me put him on my channel <laughs> or you can see him over at his. I'm going to link his channel description down below and also the uh, video that first caught my eye from him. But thanks again for talking to us, Kevin. I really appreciate it, sir. No problem. Anytime. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You too. So there you go, a few insights into why it makes sense for him. We're not saying you have to do it, we're not saying you have to be okay with it, but it was the right choice for him for the reasons he gave. It seems to be working for him, and we're going to leave it at that. If you feel like leaving something mean in the comments, don't. I'm just going to remove it. You can be mean to me all you want, but not to my guests. His information is down below. If you'd like to see some other videos, here's some that YouTube thinks you might like. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.